At the bottom of each lab, there's a section called the coding trail. What this does is shows a record of your student's work, and it starts with a date where they began their programming assignment. Following that, um, you'll see a letter that represents the day of the week that they began their assignment, in this case, Tuesday. And the dashes after that represent attempts to work on the project in develop mode, which is not graded, but that's just their iterations of this assignment. The other numbers there are the scores submitted to the auto grader. So when a student switches from the develop mode to the submit for grading mode, it will provide them an auto grade. Um, so it will compare their work against the test benches. They got a zero and then a zero, and then they tried again and got a three, tried again and got a seven and so on. And in the end, they got a 10. And then after that, they came back on Wednesday and got 10 points again for a total of 25 minutes spent on the lab. The coding trail activity is also visible in the student activity section. It will show the entire class and it's also searchable so you could find students one by one and see other information about their lab from there.